Hey everybody, this is Jacob Simpson, Assistant Director of the Cincinnati Type and Print Museum. Today we wanted to talk to you a little bit about coins. And these are the little mechanical pieces that are used to keep type in place when you're putting together a job. Here at the museum we have three different types of coins. The first one I want to talk about is this one, which is called the Hempel coin. And these are based on some of the original coin designs, which were little wooden wedges. And those would have been driven in with a mallet like the one I have here. Now, this type of coin is a little metal wedge, and you can see the geared teeth here. That's so when you slide it together, you can take this tool, called a key, and actually turn it, which spreads this apart, locking everything in place. Now, this would have been developed in the 1870s. The patent is actually 1878. A little bit later on in the 1890s, the Wickersham Company introduced this little coin. Now this one is different in that when you put it in place and use the key, it actually spreads straight apart and locks everything in place. Now the purpose of these is to lock up your font. That way when you pick it up, it holds everything. So when you're carrying this to the press, it doesn't all fall out on the floor. Now a little bit later on, the Challenge Company, by the 1930s, had developed what they call the high-speed coin. And the high-speed coin works a lot like the Wickersham coin, except for when you turn it to spread it apart, it has these little indicators which actually show you how far you've gone. This is so you can replicate this repeatedly, and you can know how much pressure you're putting on it at a given point. Once you have everything locked up and you bring it to the press, you can take this, lock it in, and then you're ready to print. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope to see you down at the museum real soon.